Hello everybody, once again welcome back to Dead Secret. Now I'm not exactly sure what happened at the very end of part 5, to be honest. I mean, I got into the pod, the Lunar Dream Apparatus, I was locked in there it seems, and then I, I think I walked through my own subconscious? And I guess perhaps I wandered outside and fell down a well, or I was brought here. I'm not really sure, but anyway, my head hurts, so I think I lost consciousness, and, and now I'm here. Um, we need to get out, so... Looks like there's a door of some sort here. Can I pull the grate off? Is it... Okay, I guess we're done investigating Bullet's machine. I've still got, as an active objective, search the basement freezer, so if I ever get the opportunity to go back out, I'd like to try and use that, the, uh, the hacksaw on that padlock in the basement. Um, but yeah, first we need to find a way out. We need to get out of here. This is the only way out. Oh, okay, I can open it if I get the power working. It's, what, it's... It's electronically powered? Fine, okay. Uh, let's see then. Uh, so I started off here. Um, let's go... Oh, oh! Looks like a power switch. Yes! Ah, but no, nothing happened. Maybe there isn't electricity in here. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Goes to a little control box over there, okay. Um, what is all this? It's so dark to see, I mean... Is this a generator or something? It is, yeah, uh, the hand crank generator. Right, let's see if we can find the, uh, the crank, if possible. Turn it around. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's this? Here we are! But, uh, no. The crank is missing. Nothing is ever easy. Certainly isn't in this game, is it? Uh, okay, so we're looking for a crank, but check this out. There is... I think there's a document just peeking itself out beneath that pallet. See if we can pull it out. There we go. Okay. Bill, I have made an incredibly fortunate discovery. About a month ago, a student came by with an old newspaper clipping he had run across. It was dated 1932 and contained a photograph of four men arrested in a Chicago police bust. One of them is the spitting image of our dear Bullard. The student thought the photo quite curious, particularly because the man pictured is identified by a different name. James Lowry. Okay. I'm liking this. I laughed it off as coincidence and sent the student on his way. That evening, however, I became consumed with the insane idea that perhaps this was not happenstance after all. Could it be that in 1932 our own Harris Bullard was arrested under a different name? With the right connections, confidential police files are as easy to access as public records. I received today a carbon of James Lowry's 30-year-old arrest report. He was suspected of laundering money for a criminal organization, but was never formally charged. Sometime between his arrest and his release, his mugshot was taken. Thankfully, this photo is included in the documents I received. It is undeniably Bullard. It seems there is more to our mutual friend than meets the eye. Best regards, Graham Wellington. So... So Bullard is not Bullard. Bullard isn't who he claims to be. Bullard is Lowry? And Lowry's Bullard. Certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Wow. Okay. I didn't see that one coming. That's... That's, uh... That's to do with the blackmail and everything? So... What, was Bullard really a professor? Was it... Was it Lowry that was doing this work all along? I don't know. What have we got here? We've got some barley. Ancient bags of barley, apparently. Uh... There's a table like right in the middle of this room with a newspaper article and a... Oh, God. That isn't me, is it? I don't think I'm alone down here. Hold on. It's an empty jug. Brilliant. An empty moonshine jug. Right. Okay. And what's on this paper here? Uh, the Cullen Harrison Act by uh, Roosevelt, apparently. Okay. Oh, the beer bill. Right, yeah. Yeah, ending prohibition. So is that what this was used for? To store all this uh, illegal... illegal booze? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, <laughs> flashlight, don't give out now. I really, really am relying on you. Let's go into the far corner over here. Oh, we got a keg. Oh, hang on. Oh, more than just storing the stuff. Were they making it down here? Possibly. This is the final step of the distillery process. I mean, I've got a jug. There's still some alcohol left in there. Wow, okay. It's, uh, it's aged quite well. Let's see if we can fill a, fill a jug up, right? There we are. Okay. The jug is full of alcohol now. It smells like disinfectant. Yeah, I probably wouldn't drink it, but we probably have another use for it. <laughs> it burns my eyes. Okay, well, don't pour it in your eyes then. A jug full of moonshine. Great. Okay. Uh, let's move along to the other steps in the distillery process. Let's see. Anything there? No? Okay. Got a little, like, a stove here. 
An old furnace, great. Um, can't get it open, no? Yeah, it's an old furnace, it's huge. And another piece of paper over here, lying on a barrel. Can I just get over there? Yeah, brilliant. A ladder, that, that might be able to help. But let's have a look at this first. Uh, oh, it's from Lowry this time, a daily log. Harris died today in 1944. The whole squad, gone. The thing is, it should have been me. I was supposed to be on that sub. I asked Harris to switch with me this morning, right as the crew was boarding. Told him I didn't feel well. I've never liked submarines. Harris was the only person I've ever really thought of as a friend. My associates in Chicago would stick a knife in my back without blinking an eye if they thought it would get them some dough. In fact, I'm sure that's what they intend to do the moment I step off this boat. Perhaps I should see Harris, or Harris's passing, as an opportunity. All of his things are here. His papers, his extra dog tags, his physics book he showed me. His passport is here. Everyone who knew us personally is at the bottom of the ocean. Maybe my dear friend Harris has provided me with a way out. Right, so that's how he wasn't discovered. Until, I guess, very recently. When, uh, when Graham and, and Bill made the discovery. And some student, okay. Who was that student just out of interest? Was it Josie? Could have been. I, uh, don't know. Okay. I'm not seeing anything else in this corner, so let's, uh, let's go, I guess, past these barrels. Anything else? Ah, that looks like it could be the crank. It is, it's the large metal crank. Okay, so we've got that. Anything else? No. I do hear running water over there. I guess we're not too far away from the well. It's still so dark I can't see. Right, let's see if we can get this up and running. Should be able to turn this now, right? So let's just add the handle. There you go. Okay, yeah, just with one arm. <laughs> very, very quickly. But rats, there's no fuel. Right. Oh, oh, right, okay, well, this could probably work as makeshift fuel. I don't think I'll be drinking it anytime soon, so... <laughs> this old moonshine burns pretty well. Let's try it again. Yes, oh, brilliant, I got the generator going. All the lights just popped. Will the gate work? Ah, uh, well, one way to find out, I suppose. Uh, yep, sure. So there we go, I'm free. So, now we just need to get to- oh god. What the fuck? There's a body here. It's a body and it's still- is that Graham? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's Graham Wellington, he's just died as well. I know he's woodcutter, but maybe the person in the mask isn't woodcutter, why would- Oh man, this is throw this is thrown my whole case in my face. Uh I was pretty much certain that it was Graham, but maybe not. Are there two killers? Would Graham kill himself? I don't think so. This is freaky, but there we go, there's the well. So that was the that was the passage that goes to the shed. So hang on, where does this go? Fucking hell, Graham's dead. So it it can't have been Graham that killed Bullard, or Lowry, I suppose. Fucking hell. Okay, we found a way out. The only objective now is to search the basement freezer. Uh, it... <laughs> they look they look very, very heavy, and yet they fell down so lightly. Um, sure. It must date back to the prohibition. Yeah, that seems to be the way of it. Fuck. My number one suspect. I just ran into him. He's dead. What the hell do I do now? Is it Josie or Bobby or Cynthia? Or someone else? I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't... Oh, hang on. Is that a... That's a document. I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, chapter 23 of Bobby Sawyer. Is it Bobby? We seem to be finding his chapter pages from his, uh, his novel that he's working on all around the place. Okay, it's, it seems to have changed back to a normal format now. It doesn't seem quite so psychotic as last time, like chapter 19 or whatever it was. Some good stuff. I've missed so much of this book, though. The characters are mentioned, which we haven't really been introduced to yet. Um, I, I don't know if I have missed, like, 20 chapters or so. I guess I'm not really meant to understand everything that's written here. The Rubber Man bent all over. Yeah, 
His teeth were missing. I don't know. Bobby's now a suspect again. He was at the bottom of the list. I guess he still is, but... Oh, man. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. I thought I'd, I thought I'd worked it all out. Right, okay. This has been keeping the door blocked. Yeah, sure. So that's taken care of. And so what? That's the... Is that the shed? Is that where the, where the machine is? Right, okay. Well, seeing as we're here, I just want to kind of check this out. Has anything actually been moved? Can I go back inside the machine again? I kind of want to try that. Let's give it a go. I don't know what this thing did to me. I feel different now. Ah, oh, shit, okay. Ah, well. Woodcutter's not here. Woodcutter's fucking dead. The person in the mask can't have been Woodcutter. Can't have been. If I find it like a a mask and some clothes, like a raincoat and stuff, then then maybe, but Oh man, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, let's see. What have we got anyway? Have we still got the hacksaw? We don't. We've still got two blank pages, which I would like to actually try and use on the stove again. I think that's what we need to do. Of course we've got that weird statue. I need to place that in the study. Uh and the record as well. We need to go to the study. So let's go back here. I'm assuming this is gonna go back into the kitchen. I'm starting to understand. I just need to put the pieces together. Okay, so the dead man in the underground room was, unless I'm horribly mistaken, Graham Wellington. Right, that's it. Wellington is dead. That means the man in the raincoat is somebody else. But who? Okay, the truth about Harris Bullard is, well, he's dead and uh, he's an imposter. That's it. it. Seems that Bullard's entire life is a forgery. He went to a lot of trouble to cover his past. Why? Well, I think it's got something to do with the uh, the police in Chicago and everything, but let's see. The man we know as Harris Bullard is really James Lowry. The spitting image of Harris Bullard. That's very convenient, but there we are. I'm close now. Just a few more riddles to solve. Okay. And in we go. Okay. What was that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, where do we go? Study? Study or stove? Study or st let's Let's go over here. We're in the kitchen. Let's just go over here. Um, I had a look at this before. It's so suspicious, though. I can't believe that something like this can't be used when it gives me, you know, a, a prompt like this. The stove top is clean. It probably works. I just couldn't find a way of getting it on. And, you know, it kind of makes sense that maybe there was something on this paper that you maybe need to heat up. What is it? Can you turn any of these? Oh. Oh! Ah, there you go. I guess I didn't try that last time. So let's try the blank page, or both of the blank pages again. This is a long shot, but maybe there's more to this page. Bloody brilliant. There we are. A hidden message appeared. I can't believe that worked. Okay. Dear Josie, thank you for the lemon juice. I thought it might have been lemon juice. This is my first time writing a secret message, and I hope it works. Today I brought Bollard his weekly groceries, and again... Oh, it's... It's Bobby. And again, he refused to pay. It's been over a month. He claims that he's broke, but I don't believe him. My family has bills to pay too. And you know he'd never send a white boy away without payment. I can't stand this. My ma listens to Dr. King on the radio nearly every week. And she says we've got to be vigilant, but peaceful. But I'm tired of being peaceful. If somebody doesn't pay you for your work, I think you should take action. Next time I come around, Bullard's going to pay his tab or we're going to have some words. Maybe more than words. Don't worry about me though. I'll come prepared. Bobby. Oh, shit. You're shooting right up to the top of the list now, mate. Planning to confront Bullard, and he's coming prepared. If they had any disagreement about payment. Wow, okay. What does the other one say? Is that Bobby as well? I assume so. What's on this page? Yeah. Josie again. I, uh, I sent the documents to Washington like you wanted. Today they sent me a telegram confirming your suspicions. James Lowry and Harris Bullard both served in the same Navy unit in the South Pacific. Lowry is listed as MIA and presumed dead. When in fact, it's Bullard. I talked on the phone with an inspector in Chicago about a woman you told me about. Rosanna Turner. Rosanna, there's that name again. He wouldn't send me the file, but I told him it was research for a book, and he gave me some details. The woman was apparently strangled by a burglar. But the weird thing is, nothing of value was stolen. Just a box of old documents, by the looks of it. The case went cold in 1946 and has been sitting in the unsolved homicides file ever since. 
Josie, I don't know who these people are, or what you're up to with this research all of a sudden, but this is getting scary. If you're in trouble, you give me the word and I'll make sure blood never bothers you again. Bobby, oh, you are so far at the top of the list right now. Wow. Wow, wow. I mean, this is stuff that I could have just ignored. Rosanna Turner, yeah. Josie wrote about Ros Rosanna. Is Rosanna her mother? That's what I'm thinking right now. Rosanna could be her mother. Um, okay, there's no more blank pages or anything, right? I've still got the record and I've still got this weird statue. So I guess we're going to the study next. I might have missed my chance to get into the freezer, I'm afraid, unless we find a key very soon. It seems really important, though, so I don't know. Okay. Who the hell is this? Here's the thing. Oh, God. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I think I've seen... I think even in the death animations, uh, when Woodcutter is coming to kill you, or whoever's wearing the raincoat and the mask, I think their skin's white. I don't think it's Bobby. So that leaves Cynthia or Josie. Oh man, I don't know. Anyway, let's uh well let's put let's put some music on. Let's see what's on this record. It seems kind of important. There's no record inside. Aha, but wait. Because I have one. Just for you. Okay. It's not like the guest or anything. It's not uh, spelling out a secret code or some hints and tips. I don't think it's just music. Fair enough. Anyway, let's just go over here and place the uh, this weird statue next to its brother, let's say. There you go. Ah! Ah! A key! A small key. It looks like the... Oh, brilliant. That's, that's, for the, uh, that's for the freezer, then. Padlock key. Perfect. There's something else, too. Okay. Right, in 46. Dear Harris, I understand. I understand why you have not responded to my previous letters, why you have made every effort to avoid me, why you never wrote me during the war. I didn't want to admit it, but I'm tired of playing the fool. You found someone else. You don't love me anymore. I understand. I'm not even angry with you about it. You're a vile man. I thought you had died in the war, and yet here you are, living without us in Chicago, pretending to be out when I knock on your door. I wanted to look you in the eyes and ask for the truth, but I don't need to any longer. You can rot in that little apartment of yours for all I care. What I do not understand is how you could do this to your own child. Our child. The child you have never even met. The child I have raised for the last five years while you were doing God knows what in the Philippines. The child who has a father that came back from the war and won't even visit. Won't even call. That you no longer want me, I understand. But for what you have done to your own little one, I will never forgive you. Rosanna Turner. Rosanna Turner must have been Josie's mother. And that gives Josie brilliant motivation for killing him as well. The address is circled on the back. Oh, this address is circled on the back? Is that right? I guess so. Uh, sure. If Josie did kill him, then she killed the wrong person because she killed James Lowry, right? I think we can write Cynthia out of this. At this point. It's either Josie or Bobby. And I don't think it's Bobby. Anyway, let's go in the freezer. Perhaps we're going to find some other... I don't know, we're going to find some more revelations. Okay. Yeah, I know where to go. I know where to go. I'm just sort of scouting the area out, just in case I do see someone wearing a raincoat and a mask. Okay, we're good. Right, now the padlock key. There you go. The lock is off. This is the secret freezer. And this is the last place left to explore. Am I ready to move on? Oh, really? Am I ready to move on? I think so. Do I have any other, any other unfinished business, really? Uh, I sorted out the blank pages. We just got objectives, documents, and main menu. Jesus Christ, woman. No, I think that's it. Let's go. There's no turning back after this. Right, yeah, okay. I get it. I get the message, but I think we're good. There we are. Okay, a couple of tanks, a handprint, sure, the handprint it is then. Hypothermia, kills in a matter of hours and leaves no mark. Bullard died in his freezer, or was it James Lowry? 
Now that I've gathered all the pieces, I just need to put them together. A scientist with a past, a dead colleague, an ex-wife down on her luck, a girl with no father and a boy with no future, a snow woman, a full moon. Now I just need to get out of here alive. Okay. So he died. Oh God, Jesus. <laughs> That's not fair. How did he even get there? Or she even get there, perhaps. I don't know. It's not fucking Graham, is it? And here we are again. This is my strange darkness within dream again. If it's even a dream. Right. Okay. Is it going to be an endless corridor again? Can we explore some of these rooms? We couldn't before. Oh, no. It has a door at the far end, thankfully. Okay. Hmm. There are so many jump scares in this game. Some of them are, are, are pretty well earned. Some of them uh, kind of get a little bit tedious, honestly. Where the hell are we going? Was the corridor we were just in an actual place? I thought we were walking through the subconscious again. I thought this is all part of my lunar dream, but maybe this is going to link up to the secret tunnels. The hell is this? Oh boy, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hello. Okay then. Who killed Harris Bullard? Was it Graham Wellington, who's now dead at the bottom of a well? Cynthia Peckman, who wanted money? Was it Bobby Sawyer, who had no future? And who was willing to do things if he didn't get his money? I don't know. Or was it Josie Herrera? She has motive. T to be honest, she's... It's one of these two. I don't think Cynthia's involved. Graham's dead. Ah, oh, man. If Graham, no sorry, not if Graham, if Harris Bullard or James Lowry died in the freezer, in the secret freezer, it's a secret freezer, right? Remember that. Bobby may not have known about it. Josie probably did, because she was involved with the research. So I might pick this key. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh fuck. Okay. Alright. Um, I guess I've made my choice. Are we just, are we just leaving now? What's that painting again? This is like it's, uh, it's like the upstairs bedroom, isn't it? But not quite. And the freezer? Yeah, I must be dreaming again. Whoa. Whoa! What the hell? Who the fuck? Who's that in the pod? Let's get out of here. Oh shit. Oh shit. But was that because I left the oven on? <laughs> Please, don't tell me that's the case. Where'd that go, by the way? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. What? What does this all mean? I'm, I'm not grasping that situation. I've got to be honest. The masks, yep. I, I guess I'm still dreaming. Josie Herrera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Right. It's her. It's Josie. She's injured. Can I... Oh, I have an opportunity to pull her... Pull these things off. Okay. Sure. I don't know why. <laughs> why did I just do that? I may have just set the place on fire. Shit. Oh, here come the boys in blue. I barely managed to pull Josie from the house as it burned to the ground. All of Bullard's research, his equipment, and his secrets burned with it. Josie Herrera was arrested for the murders of Harris Bullard and Graham Wellington. My story of blackmail, 
murder, and my narrow escape from a deranged killer made headlines. In January, I start at the Chicago Tribune. I never told them about James Lowry or that Josie's last name is really Turner. Those secrets are mine alone. Oh, okay, that is the end of Dead Secret. Is that the right ending, though? I guess so. I mean, she turned up in the raincoat and all that. But I'm wondering if... If it would be Bobby in the raincoat, if I chose Bobby's key right at the end there. I don't know. It fits. It does seem to fit. But I don't know if that's entirely correct. Because... Oh, hang on. Here we go. Ending S. Ending S! So that's the best one, right? I would think. Hold on, though. I mean... If this is the right ending, and it seems to be, if it's ending X, then there's one thing that doesn't really make sense. And that's Graham. Why is Graham dead? Why is he in the well? Did she plan to kill him? I can't imagine so. Did they even really know each other? Maybe it was a spur of the moment thing. Perhaps... I guess Graham was just walking around, maybe investigating like I was. And he just got pushed down the well. The body was... It was like a fresh body, right? It was a warm body. So... Yeah. Yeah, it must have just been spur of the moment. Maybe she thought that Graham was me. Or maybe Graham was getting too close to the truth and she decided to put an end to it. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, that is the end of Dead Secret. Thank you very much for watching this playthrough. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, then leave this video a like. And, uh, well, I hope to see you in another one very soon. See you then. So there we go. I'm free. So, now we just need to get to... Oh, God. Uh, it... <laughs> Fuck. My number one suspect. I just ran into him. He's dead. What the hell do I do now? Here's the thing. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I sorted out the blank pages. we just got objectives, documents, and main menu. Jesus Christ, woman. So he died. Oh, God, Jesus. <laughs> That's not fair. How did he even get there? Where'd that go, by the way? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. What? <laughs>